All right, guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jake the Fate, and in this video, if you guys already saw from the title, I'm gonna be replicating George Harrison's Rocky Strat guitar. Real quick, right before we get into the built stuff, I was thinking of what guitar to uh, replicate. I did the uh, the Snakebite uh, Explorer shaped guitar, the James Hadfield tribute guitar that I made for him. And I got a lot of cool feedback for that guitar. So in this video, I was thinking of what other guitar I can like replicate. And uh, I was thinking of doing Eddie Van Halen's Shark guitar. And, you know, kind of doing the same thing as the Explorer, but, you know, actually doing that whole thing in the turnbuckles and painting it and everything. Because I've already done his um, Frankenstrat, which is this one right here. I did this one like about probably a year ago. Um, I was really like, wanting to like replicate his guitar just because you know it's a, it's a cool guitar you know and i put the 5150 there just because um they had those decals at guitar center so i did that you know it's not exactly replicated like the spec but you know it's something i built and i'm pretty proud of so this was this one and i was thinking of doing you know his um shark guitar you know i was thinking of doing that guitar and then you know, I figured, you know, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a while. You know, I'm going to have to do drilling and doing all that stuff and cutting out chunks of the guitar, which I don't have a problem with. But, you know, I'll probably do that on a different video or even probably uh, do another uh, Frankenstrat video. But I was listening to the Beatles the other day and I was like, George Harrison's Rocky. And, you know, I've. I was at a Sam Ash store and I saw it on the on the rack and I was like, huh, is this like original? Like, you know, like the Fender one or did someone make it? Cause you know, it was, it was selling for like pretty cheap. So I was like, man, if this was like built by somebody, I guess, you know, I can do it, you know? So and the plan of this, right? There's two ways you guys can do it. If you guys are gonna like look at this video to try to do it yourself because I'm a huge do it yourselfer. You there's two ways you can do it. You can either buy yourself the DIY strat kit. You know, they sell them on Amazon for like $90 into like I don't know, 160, 200, 300, whatever you guys want. But if you guys are not trying to spend that much money and trying to like, you know, do this on a budget, you guys can, you know, get yourself a cheap little Squire. That's how I did the the Frankenstrat. You know, I got myself a Squire guitar and I just, I wanted that maple neck and I put it on. So, um, on this build, my boy Jonathan gave me his guitar because I was, you know, trying to like figure out if I can just like get a cheap Squire somewhere. You know, he was so awesome and he gave me his guitar. This guitar to him is pretty special, you know, and he got this thing probably a couple years ago, probably, I don't even know, but it's in great condition for the amount of time. You know, it's a Squire guitar. I actually modified it for him. I put the humbuckers that I wound. It's a good guitar, you know? So it's a perfect guitar to, you know, work with and do modifications and stuff like what I'm about to do right now. Now, when it comes to the body itself, right? George Harrison's guitar, his guitar is a natural like his you know he kept the back of his guitar you know the original color so i think i might do the same thing with this guitar keeping it red you know just like ferrari red color i'm gonna keep it that way so you know to be original like his guitar now if you guys want to do paint the whole thing i think it's like a sonic blue his original guitar and you know the history of that guitar um he painted it like just like paint colors that were from the 70s so it's gonna be kind of hard to replicate those colors um and like nail polish and stuff like that so you know it's gonna be a, a pretty it's not gonna be on point you know like with the color but it's just gonna be something fun to do and if you guys are Beatles fans you guys can definitely do that because you know George Harrison who doesn't respect the man so let's get to the workbench and let's get started on this all right, so my first thing that I'm gonna do is obviously take everything apart. And I would obviously recommend you guys using a reference picture to look at it. All right, so you're gonna also need a white pick guard. You know, these things are pretty cheap. You can get them off of Amazon too. 
or like your local guitar store um pickups i'm gonna wind my own pickups but you know you're just gonna need like white plastic covers to paint you know the the green the yellow and like that it's like a burgundy or it looks like magenta like a pretty magenta color i'm gonna try to replicate it i don't know have to like really look into it so yeah that's that and then you're just gonna need you know the white knobs um the pick guard i think my wife's gonna probably do it because i'm not really good with details so <laughs> yeah so she's gonna do this and i'm gonna do the body so the paint colors i'm gonna be using is this uh craft smart pale blue paint and uh this i think this was the actual original color that he had um i said sonic blue but it was actually pale blue but it's obviously acrylic paint but it works this bright green is like what I got kind of close to like the headstock little Rocky logo thing. You know, it's not really that important. You could probably like mix it, but you know, if you really want to be right with that, I would say these two colors are like <laughs> spot on. Everything else was kind of hard. Uh, the orange that I used was bright orange. Um, and I kind of messed up here because I got like different kinds of acrylic. So I got, I got like outdoor acrylic which is like it's pretty sturdy so this one's really good and this orange one's like gloss acrylic paint so it's like it kind of like streaks this yellow outdoor acrylic paint the red outdoor acrylic paint i got black regular acrylic paint but if you can get the outdoors for both of these then you guys would be pretty much set and then regular white and I also got like this green grass one, this other green one, a dark green, whatever you guys have, honestly, you know, this is basically what I use. But if you guys can get all of the outdoor acrylic paints, I would really recommend that because it actually was like, like regular paint. You know, if you want to get it real nice, then highly recommend the outdoor one. So first, what I'm going to do is um, I have this like 800 grit wet and dry sandpaper. I'm just gonna lightly scuff the area that I'm gonna be painting because you're gonna want paint to stick to this because if you just do it over this, it's just gonna rub right off. So you're gonna want that chemical bond, you know, so you're just gonna have to like lightly scuff it. You know, you're not trying to like take off the whole thing, but just lightly scuff it. All right, so now that we have our body painted the color we want, I had to give it two coats just because with the first one, I can still see the bottom. I can still see the red in the bottom. You can still see it a little bit, but you know, in this area, that's where the pick art's gonna be. Plus this thing's gonna be painted with more paint. So I didn't have to do the, the body itself, but I did it just so the colors can blend because you guys saw that I did the, the edges. And then when I tried to paint this orange it was just like dark because of the red so yeah i gave it two coats so it's like a little bit brighter so that's gonna look nice you know it's gonna be nice and bright so we're gonna get into the pattern part now
All right, so here I have the guitar already like painted, finished. You know, the colors aren't on point, you know, obviously. But, you know, I, you guys can get pretty close to it. You know, all you're gonna need is just like red, green, yellow, and orange, which is like the three basic colors. And as you can see here, this is just a reference video that I've been looking at. You know, it's not perfect. But as you can see, like the green itself is not very smooth because, you know, you can see like the strokes and different colors and stuff. So, you know, I was trying to get it on point because I <laughs> couldn't really see. So I had to like mix some colors, not on point to that, but just like, you know, so it looks nice because the yellow, this yellow looks like mustard <laughs> compared to that yellow. And obviously the orange is not as bright. But I'm just working with what I have. So uh, to get that green, I guess if you guys want to know, I just basically mixed the green grass paint with the regular green and a little bit of white. And just put that in there. And um, to get this color, all I did was just grab the red and put some white in there. And then, so it, you know, you can see the difference. You don't have to get like different shades of red. And then I just put regular red on this one. And that's basically it, how I did that. I would recommend you guys tracing it first with a pencil like I was doing. And then, you know, try to get it. Even though, like, over here, I kind of just went a little too high. But, you know, it's fine. I should have just gone, like, right there. You know, follow this line and then bring it down over there a little bit. But, you know, it's fine. Sorry, I'm a little stuffy. I got a little sick. <clears throat> so, with the pit guard, you know, you guys don't have to worry about, like, you know, getting it so, like, not trying to get paint on this because it's going to happen. You know, I would recommend you guys doing it with this on. But it's going to happen. One, you're going to paint over it. And two, you know, like, if you look at his replica, this is like a Fender official replica. You can see that they have, like, paint on that. So it's fine, you know. So, and also don't worry about, like, the like the um the strokes of the paintbrush because that's how his was it was very like textured see the the strokes on the on the on the body and so you know you don't have to really worry about like trying to make it as smooth you know something like this this is like this is like the first time i'm ever doing this so it's kind of hard honestly even though it's like the most simplest replica to do in a sense because you know there's like no carving or like any like spray painting and doing like extra stuff it's just literally grabbing a paintbrush and some paint and just doing it it's not super hard as long as you know you kind of get the lines on point that's where i kind of messed up right there but you know it's fine for me but if you guys really want to get it right you know i would say measure everything not measure it but just like eyeball it better so it's like you know more <laughs> aligned there but yeah yeah, now we're going to get started on that pick guard. So no pick guard? <laughs> um, I can. All right, so for this next part, I'm gonna be clear coating this thing. Polyurethane water-based crystal clear gloss just to protect the paint. You guys don't really have to do that, but you know, just to give it a better look and just to really protect the paint so it doesn't like chip off and stuff.
here it is. The Rocky George Harrison guitar replica. So yeah, this guitar, it was, um, it wasn't the most difficult built that I've done. I do a scale from like easy to hard. It was like fairly easy in a, in a sense. Cause there was like, like I said, there was no drilling and there was no like paint, like spray painting and waiting and all that stuff. You know, the way I did this was very basic. You know, I just used like regular acrylic paint from like the hardware store. And it's funny because like I've, I've done so many runs to the hard, did I say hardware store? I meant the, the craft store. Uh, I've done so many runs to there and like, I'm usually doing that to like hardware stores where like I need tools and I need this to like do this guitar and like bits and stuff. So the only thing that was hard for me was the pit guard itself, which is like the main thing aside from the body. Um, my wife was supposed to do it, but she had like a bunch of work and uh, work, homework and stuff. So I decided to do it. It's not perfect. I wish I could have done a little better. I was like super tempted of using like like my airbrush thing, but you know I figured if I'm gonna be doing this, something easy for somebody to do, like you know just grabbing acrylic paint and a brush and just going to town with it. But you know it's not completely perfect, <laughs> you know like spot on. You know like there's a couple things that are like I could have done better. Like I'm not really good with details, so. You know, this part right here, it's like iffy, but from afar, it kind of looks, you know, pretty decent, <laughs> but you know, uh, like I decided to wind my own pickups. So like, that's going to probably be the only difference. Um, you know, you can just use like, you know, whatever pickups you have, put them in there and just paint the, the covers. And other than that, you know, oh, and I guess the, uh, the little pickup selector switch thing, I kept it black because that's all I had. I couldn't find any white ones. Um, and then like the back, like I said, you know, I kept it the original red color there. And I decked it down with like all the springs. That's how he had it. Uh, George Harrison. And you know, the little tone knob up here, tone and he had the volume down there, which I don't know why, but he did. That's it, you know, this thing wasn't super hard. You know, I honestly do recommend as like your first guitar replica built thing, you know, if you're gonna do it from scratch or you know, you're doing it to a guitar that's already been painted and you're gonna repaint it, you know, it's, it's a fun thing to do, honestly. The only thing I do recommend you guys is being careful with the glitter because I put some glitter here and I put some glitter on the headstock and you know, like it's just, while you're working with it, it's just, it's pretty messy and you know, it's not like the best thing to do. So, you know, it's not really my style in particular. I play a lot of heavy metal and like heavy stuff. So it's gonna be new. I mean, I do sometimes, but you know, it's not my cup of tea, but this guitar is just like pretty awesome. So yeah, it's such an iconic guitar that, you know, people want it. <laughs> and you know, he probably wasn't even thinking about that at the time. He was just like, oh, I gotta make myself stand out. So I'm just gonna, put all this paint on this and just like go out there. So I do recommend you guys doing something like this. You know, it's very fun. And the, one of the main reasons I would recommend you guys to do this is because you kind of like, even though it's like a cheaper guitar, the fact that you put your time and effort and, you know, trying to like make this your own, you kind of like get real close to this. So it's like, you know, you put your time and effort into this, that it's probably not the most expensive guitar that you're like, well, I'm going to just like, not play my Fender Stratocaster or like the most expensive guitar that I have and just play this but it's like it's like you actually feel like wow I it's like a it's like a it's kind of like your own custom shop guitar <laughs> you know that you built um not built like you didn't build it but like that you painted you know it's kind of hard for me to say like built and you know it's not because it's not really a built you know you're not carving this out or you're not you know, starting from scratch. If you're gonna do it from scratch, then I guess it would be a built. But like I said, it's a fun project for you guys to do. So highly recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, I guess that's all I got.